My name is Roger Matthews. I am married to Jenny Farley, better known as JWoww. Does it like kill you inside when you have to say that? Well, that is how you're known, yeah. JWoww. Do you want me to be RWoww? Maybe. Hi, I'm RWoww. <laughs> Even though our house is finally finished in Maine, we have to unpack, decorate, get the kids' stuff put together. The kids want to touch the tools and want to take this, want to eat screws and nuts and... Bubby loves screws. You love nuts. You are waiting. I'm very stagey, so I like to stage rooms even though I'm not going to use them. You wanna go look at your room? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember what your room was? Milani has the most beautiful princess room. Grayson, gray, turquoise. They're both staged, they'll never use them. They might play in them. It's almost like a wasted room. Oh, it's Milani's room. Oh, there's a buggy in here, Milani. Look at a buggy. Get it out. See it? It's a stink bug, I think. I think that's called a stink bug. What is a stink bug? Does it stink? Yeah, if it gets scared, it squirts a little stuff out and stinks. No, it does not, does it? Yes. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Really, a st do stink bugs really stink? <laughs> they do. It stinks? Like a fart or like, like death? Well, I would say the average fart, but not your fart. Your fart is way worse. <laughs> Open the window and we'll let it go out the window. Ready? I'm not a uh, specialist in insects here, but I'm pretty sure that was a stink bug, yes. Anthropologist. Yes, good one, babe. Good. You didn't have to whisper it, you could have been super intelligent. I, right I there. didn't know if that was actually uh, it. Uh, she said anthropologist. Am I right? Can you Google that? We don't have yeah, the internet you here. You may have to Google that. There he goes. Where I'm from in Maine is a very rural area, and it's always been a dream of mine to have a place back here. But I know my wife is not gonna live here year round, so I'm happy with whatever time we get up here. You wouldn't live here. I probably wouldn't, you're right. No. You're right. There's no gym within 45 minutes. But there's a lot of history to it. You know, my, my grandfather bought this land, built the road in here, it took a few years to build a road, and he built a little right. cabin in here. My entire childhood, to, but that's my, my fondest memory. Very rich in history little here for me. I spent my, my entire childhood out here, and then you know, my came back here, took over the, Family business. I think um, she wanted one sentence. Okay. I was just messing. <laughs> My dad named Bill. My stepmom named Betty. We from country. What do you think about being a big girl and sleeping in here by yourself? Do you want to take a big girl nappy in this bed? Yeah. You your, do? Your first one in three years. So co-sleeping. I'm I'm both an advocate and a, a critic of co-sleeping. For our daughter, who was our firstborn, you're nervous as hell. You, you hear all the crazy Sid stories, you hear all this stuff, and you don't want her out of your sight. By the time your second kid comes around, I thought that we would not be co-sleeping with Grayson. Jenny agreed, and then... And then he got bronchiolitis for six months out of then, his year life. Grayson was in his crib for like two weeks, had the longest bout of bronchiolitis, he had to sleep sitting up, and now he cries when he goes in his crib. I'm not making excuses. I'm not making excuses. She's making Excuses. See, that was easy. They said, they said breaking the co-sleeping thing would be hard. So easy, all done. Just, just get a dog? That was it. We're gonna have to by the time she's in school. We're gonna have to get that broken. So we got a couple more years. Why? I know a couple parents who still have seven, eight year olds in their bed. Who do you think is more terrified, Melania? You breaking the co-sleeping thing and sleeping in your own bed? Nice. Or do you think your mother would be more terrified by sleeping in a big bed with your father all by herself? I think you're yeah, mother, you had to tread lightly on that joke. You don't really have a regiment now, you know what I mean? Just to learn mm. that. You were an only child, and being an only child, you were kind of spoiled or whatever, so you didn't want I did an not. only child. You wanted two, but look, we still have a spoiled child. I originally wanted three children until I had Milani. Hello! Hello, Milani. No. But I said, I need her to have a brother or a sister to break this spoiled, rotten, Selfishness. I hasn't broken it yet. No, not yet. I feel like Bobby's gonna have a complex growing up. Why? Oh. No, you're not throwing it away. It's Bubby's. Because he has a dick of a sister. <laughs> The way we look at it is we're realists. We're always realists. We always tell it like it is. Our, our daughter is kind of an asshole. But if you're somebody outside of this family and you call our daughter an asshole, I'll knock you the fuck mommy out. Mommy gonna cut your ass. Oh, it's a scary baby? 
Throw away. Oh, hey. Recently, Milani's had this issue with dolls. That's the third one I would have to throw away this week. No! You know what? No! Uh, okay. You're watching something you shouldn't be watching. Bobby. Yeah, you saw something Pull you shouldn't away. see. Pull away. Pull away. <laughs> throw away. Throw away. Throw away. She's made me throw out a few dolls. It's just scary, mommy. Scary, scary doll. Scary doll, mommy. Scary doll. We don't know why. We certainly haven't scared her with any dolls or anything, so I don't know where that comes from. Go away, mommy. I like it, baby doll. You don't like a uh, baby doll. We saw, we saw a scary baby or something, because that's not normal thinking. I'm not throwing it away. I'm hoping one day she'll like it again. Did you let her watch Chucky? No. Of this. Actually, it doesn't look like too many pieces. It's definitely, definitely not Ikea. You know, we just got in the new house. Everything looks amazing, but there's more furniture to put together for the patio. One of our wedding gifts was this wonderful patio furniture that uh, Jenny's cousins bought for us, and it still has not been put together. It's been sitting in storage now in a garage for two years, so as much as I don't want to, I'm going to go begin that project. Are you gonna help Daddy put furniture together? It actually looks pretty simple. I think we can we can get this together relatively quickly. Hello. We are going. Hello. 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 What do you envision with this house? Little stuff, but as far as exterior, I want to do a lot of you know just clearing out bushes and making our view a little better. Landscaping. I would like to finish the do. basement for like family to see. Ah! Milani, you, Milani. Can't, you can't run into that, honey. You'll break that. You'll go right through it, okay? I don't want to have to tell you again. Our daughter uh, keeps running into the screen, this brand new house that we just had built. My, my goal for the summer is to do a lot of landscaping. Oh, I, I don't know what she's trying to do. I don't know if she thinks she can like be Mrs. Invisible and run through it or she's just being, you know, El Destructo, but. She's gonna break the screen if she keeps doing it, and you know we're trying to enjoy this beautiful main weather and keep the bugs out. So if she breaks the screen, then we have to close the door. And so someone has to be a bad guy and get her to stop running into the screen. Mm -hmm. When I was a little, little boy, my grandfather would wake me up in the middle of the night, and we'd listen to the loons calling. It's like a weird bird, right? What is it? What is the noise they make? Yeah. I'm not doing it. Why not? Because I can't. My cousin can do it. Is it's it like a duck call. No, totally different. A duck is like quack, 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 and it's annoying and it sounds stupid. They have a very unique call and it's actually majestical and beautiful. It's very majestic, guys. Oh, that's fancy. And also squeal like a pig. Hey. Meh, mommy hungry. Okay. Yeah. Okay, they down. So I just finally finished putting the first chair together and I look over at my wife and she's tucked into Monty's little day bed and Monty's, uh, putting her to bed for the night, I guess. Milani's awesome. She is awesome. When it really counts, she can be the sweetest little girl. She loves tucking mommy in and saying goodnight, give me kisses. Hey, Bubby. Oh, down goes Frazier. You're okay. You're okay. Bubby has been walking phenomenal. Like, he went from like, 10 steps max a few days ago to like full blown like circles, turning around, walking back and forth. Follows us everywhere, like everywhere we go. Takes corners, like puts his blinker on, everything. He's a waddle. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Where's Milani? What, what is it? So, um, Where'd she go? I feel like every parent says this, but why do they spend all this money on big toys for their kids when all they really want is the box that it came in? Hold the joke. I was just about to say, why do you think hold, I married you? Hold the joke. Oh God. Where's my knife? Where are you? So I, I mean, like literally, Milani will have the best time in, in any box. And I can't even. So, so did I before we got married. <laughs> well, I love how you laugh at your own <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Sweet wrestling right there. <laughs> <laughs>
You guys get along like me and my sister used to get along. And then my son is cracking me up because he's like Jimmy Fly Super Snooker and her off the top rope. What? And she's in the, oh, that's an old wrestling reference. God, you're so old. But anyway. Uh, he's like top roping her off the, uh, you know, into the in the box, just totally crushing her, and she's freaking out inside. It's just, it's. I, just I, I, could, wa it. I could watch it all day. I love when Bubby one ups Milani because it's very rare. Oh. So when he does it, I. She's brutal to him. So the occasional, the yeah. rare occasion that he gets her back is awesome. It's awesome. Big bell. Now that he's mobile he's and he's walking, he's fighting back a little bit. That's my the boy. kid's got a death grip. Like if he can get a hold of her, she moves a lot quicker. She can bob and weave and duck, but if he can get a hold of her, he'll fight back. And we encourage him to because oh, yeah. she, she needs it in her life. Bye bye. Bye bye. So now that our house is in order, and it's not easy, especially with two kids like ours, we're just looking to enjoy our home. Tell us how you juggle your kids when you're trying to get your house in order in the comments below. You sound like an infomercial. Are you gonna critique every line? It was a fantastic line. Comment below and subscribe to Awestruck to see future videos of Roger and I getting domestic.